All right, I'm gonna make a video tonight of the last three videos and kind of put them together and what happened. Um, probably later on tonight or tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve. But I was thinking of a good video. This is to all the people that haven't started upgrading their cars yet, trucks, whatever, and they're thinking about doing it. And how I saved a lot of money. And how you can save a lot of money. Now, I'm not a mechanic. I'll fiddle easy things, you know, on a car. I'm a contractor. So, when it came time to upgrade the ramp, I based it off another YouTube truck. And this is pretty much what he was running at the time. I didn't know nothing about this stuff. First vehicle I upgraded. So, I talked to my mechanic, and I was talking to uh, Jay Green. Matt, I think it's VCAC. Some people say VCAC, some people say PCAC. I think it's VCAC. Um, and the forms. There's a lot of people out there willing to help you. So, what I did was I bought all my parts that I was planning on doing at one time um, the full bolt ons, the cam. I had a dead cam mold. Um, I need to replace it anyways. That's what brought this on. And I had my mechanic install them all at once. So I keep raving about my mechanic, Kevin's place. So let's see what he did and how much it cost. He replaced my cam. He replaced the lifters, the rods. He had to pull the heads. Um, Jay's cam replaced the springs, some shims. He took a, um, he had to pretty much break the motor down and do the cam anyway, so it was perfect timing. So, while he did that, I had him replace the lower dampener, lower pulley, uh, 180 thermostat, MSD delete. Uh, he had the heads off, so it was a perfect time to put on the headers. I'll do another video on how much money they wanted for that. Another shop, it was ridiculous. Um, let's see. 200 cell cats, which don't matter. Massachusetts, you cannot get a sticker with long two headers. Do another video on how we're going to get around that. Um, what else did he do to this thing? He rewired for the 6-4 intake manifold. Put that on. I had boxes of parts, just in gaskets and bolts was $600. Uh, but all in all, he had my truck for two and a half days, three days, maybe. And it was $1,700 bucks for labor. It's, you can't beat it. So, if I took and I bought all the parts individually, and they all came in individually, it was getting most of them during the beginning of Corona, so it, there was a lot of wait. Um, it was hard to wait, you know, to put them all in. So when people ask me, oh, how did this improve or how did that improve, I can't tell. I did it all at once. Um, I got about 100 horsepower gain, guesstimation. When we hit 250 subscribers, we're going to find out. I'm going to take it down to the dyno. Um, I got big plans this spring. If it takes longer, I'll video it at the dyno. Oh, excuse me, at the dyno. And when we hit 250 subscribers, I'll release the video then. Um, now, a lot of other people ask me if I'm happy with the cam I picked. That's another one I get on the forms. I got uh, Jay's .5 V2 high lift cam. It's his torquiest cam. Uh, yeah, it's. I, I like it. It's a great cam. The truck's a, you know, a lot faster than what it was. Um, but this is sort of like getting tattoos. You, you get one and you just want to keep on going. So, um, yeah, 
for a street truck, this is a great cam. I recommend if somebody wants an extra 100 horsepower with some bolt-ons and a cam, have Jay tune it. It's perfectly happy with it. Um, but he's got a new cam out. We'll get into that when I purchase it, but that's what I'm going to go with. We're going to do some, we're going to completely do the heads and uh, do some work to the intake manifold. I'm going to swap out the throttle bodies again. So, I got big plans. I'm going to see if I can't get this heavy bitch, you know, down around 10 seconds, naturally aspirated. And when I build it this time, I'm going to build it for boost, maybe some nitrous down the road. So again, if you're going to build your vehicle, make your plans first. Don't just throw parts at it. Find an end goal. It'll save you a lot of money in the long run. Um, I got parts that I'm going to be taking out and selling them on the used market. You know, it's a loss of money. If this is where you want your vehicle for an end goal, it's great. You know, but I want to go faster. I probably got one of the faster trucks around here now, but there's not a lot of people into this stuff around here, so see what happens. Well, happy Christmas Eve to all you on YouTube. Um, I'm driving around today in Mayhem, so we're going to do some videos, and hopefully I don't blow nothing up today and get kicked out of the house on Christmas Eve. All right, later.